Good morning, folks. Look, a crazy person. This is yet another Russian volcano erupting. Link to this video is below. A couple moderate quakes in the Atlantic yesterday, continuing into this morning. An unusual tremor in southern Australia. Speaking of Australia, bottom right you see Norell off the west coast. Center of the Indian Ocean has some development all its own as well as the ninth cyclone of the season is born. Back to Australia where you can see Norell's low pressure on the left. The lone red high pressure will be nice and thunderstorms all around it. Here are those watch zones and inside where the red was is the only area not in red on the temperature map. Europe, do you notice all the isolated spinning going on? That's these individual lows churning some warm air north but mostly letting cold air come south. Again, Eastern Europe with frigid temperatures to start next week. In the United States, last night's watch zone saw flooding and tornadoes. The damage reports began coming in early, but that's just one half of this storm. Out west, it's freezing cold. Even Southern California is in the mix. The trailing side of these blue lows spins down from the north while the leading edge brings warmth, record warmth, up from the south. In this case, record warmth for January. The wind map plus the pressure diagram should really be showing you how this all works and if you already got those down pat, you should be able to see how those tie into the watch zones. Flood watch on the warm edge and snowstorm warnings on the west side. You can check out the Gandalf recap link for some snow totals so far and I imagine they will soon have more as this storm continues to move east. Coming to the bar toll, cosmic ray density line continues to drop well under 100 now. Yesterday's slow solar wind ended as you see the yellow pushing 400 kilometers per second here. But look at the orange density. Okay, 1200 UTC, we have a proton spike. Peaking again around the new day with spiking around 2 and again around 8. And wouldn't you know it, the induction magnetometer baseline resonance at 1200 UTC. More as the new day turns with a blip at 2 and a bigger one at 8, perfectly responsive to the solar wind. We had another M flare, folks. Oddly enough, it came from a decaying region, not the beast, just to the left of it. Let's have a look at that region. Remember, it popped our M flare a week ago when it crested the limb. Tough to see how she actually pulled off another one here. Then we have our beast of a region. I want you to watch how this leading umbral group splits to become an extended phalanx and finally two separate umbras. First thing to notice, we got two big leading umbras, one in the back. These little bipolar spots up here in the front just keep popping up, fading. They're in complete magnetic equilibrium. At this time, the only danger here lies in the central area of development. That leading negative spread further, it will pop again when the blue positive takes hold between them. On the eastern limb lies one more group turning in to see us. Mercury is headed to conjoin the sun. It's one of three planetary alignments next week. I've got my eyes on the coronal holes for quake watches as well. Let's hope for more of these moderate flares to expand our atmosphere back out. But no kill shots, no quiet. Eyes open, no fear. It's 6.05 a.m. Eastern Time and that's the news. Be safe everyone.